Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for Pisces twice a day. Thank you so much for being part of my channel and dropping by to see what's what. So I'm going to pull out the cards that I'm going to be using for readings this week to look at the energy. Now we have a super new moon, um, I think between the 19th and the 20th. We're also fully going into Pisces season so wow there you go <laughs> we're just we're just going into it aren't we we are yeah so yeah so some of us yeah the new moon starts I guess today there you go <laughs> we are the new moon oh confusion confusion and this might happen this week because if you immerse yourself in that world, um, you might feel a little bit screwed up. But don't worry. Just get your bearings and then keep going. So I'm going to pull three cards here to try to help us, guide us this week. You have the Wheel of Fortune. That's good. The Six of Pentacles, which we saw this morning, by the way. And the Three Wands. Very nice. Very nice. So a change in cycle of rebalancing and then a going out towards it. The Wheel of Fortune, it's also, um, it's like centering yourself when the world starts spinning. So... It's trying to center yourself with your energy, Pisces. Absolutely. Do that as much as you can to get to where you need to go. We're going to pull the other cards. Um, I am using the Crazy Sexy Love Notes and also the Spacious Tarot. Spacious for, yes, space, where we will be in our own spaces this week. So for Monday, the work that we're going to be doing. Reconsider your commitments. Yes, no, 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 no. And I'm going to I'm going to read the other side on the day that we do the readings, okay? For now I'm just going to leave it on the one side. Ace of Wands. Yeah. I feel that it's really putting your attention on the thing that's most important to you. Um, that's what's coming in. If you have been, it's funny because as Pisces, they say we're, you know, our escapism and everything we do is a scatterbrain. But you know what? When we're focused on something that we love, we can escape in that one thing. And it's it's so funny. It's like putting the focus on all the one thing that you really want. And I feel Pisces for us, that's your heart desire right now. So put all your attention on the one thing that you really want for yourself. The one thing that you find yourself daydreaming about over and over again. You know that's a passion of yours. So please take your energy and focus it on that. Okay? And we're not talking about people stalking, we're talking about goals. Goals, right? You can you can focus on not, and not make other people uncomfortable. Okay. So be present. Mm. Doesn't that dog look like he's just chilling out and, and having like his own little like moment? I think so. I think so. <laughs> so this is spiritual advice day two temperance right so I felt that as well it's like you can be out there but be here too so it's like making sure that you keep yourself in balance okay keeping your feet on the earth and your spiritual mind and your spiritual self above as above so below keep yourself in the middle there 
you can go there and come back down here. That's why I said for this morning, if you want to write down the stuff that you are going fantastically great on the ideas that you have, this is bringing yourself back down to reality, going, oh, I see a castle in the sky. And then you're going, oh, I like that color. And then you come back down, I like that color. Maybe I can find that color and integrate that color in my life. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. So if you were needing examples, this is what I'm saying. Try to bring some of that back here. So you go from looking at the beauty that you are you are seeing as Pisces, as we all do, as we create sometimes in our mind, and bringing it back down, okay? So you're tempering the fire with the water. You're tempering that divine flight into wherever we go, back into making it a reality in the present moment. So that is coming in. Okay, so your block is this week. Oh, <laughs> um, no, I don't... Yeah, I don't think anything will surprise me at this point of what could come out as a block. <laughs> oh, but yeah, okay, maybe they are. Stop comparing. Oh, I love that. Look, they would say stop comparing apples to oranges, and that's what they put there for you. Okay, don't compare yourself to other people. Don't compare yourself to other signs. Um, as I said on the, in this morning's reading, we've been criticized a lot as Pisces as being out there. Some of the most successful people in the world are Pisces. Because why? They think outside the box. They're dreamers. Of course they're dreamers. They saw things that didn't exist and dreamed them into existence. So please, don't compare yourself to other people. Okay? You are wonderful just the way you are. Right. The Elder of Pentacles is here to tell you that... The King of Pentacles, he is, um, he is somebody who brings, who makes things become material. In other words, he's very rich king. He's the very rich king. So again, I feel like it's that, that divine thing bringing into concreteness. You know what I mean? Like you look at something and you're going to make it into something that's resourceful, that brings back, that becomes abundance and wealth for you. Whatever that could be materialistic or just in your life with the people around you. Okay? What, the most beautiful thing I can think to myself is if you can create the most beautiful story in your mind and an actual story, almost like a screenplay, and invite the very the people you love to play with you in that screenplay. That is the greatest gift you can give anybody. Okay, Pisces? And you know, um, oh, they're saying um, a story a story shared with two becomes reality. It's no longer an illusion. It's no longer a play or a, a fantasy. Okay? Remember that. So how is the past affecting you, Pisces? I saw nourish yourself here. And we did have be kind to yourself as well. Uh, you are awesome. Find your tribe. I'm not gonna keep these, but it's it's they just they were kind of here at the top. So keep that in mind. Play. <laughs> I like that we have all these puppies here. There's so much. So, how's your past affecting you? Well, when you were a young Pisces, you played, right? You let the world of imagination take you as far as you wanted. It was okay to play. Nobody criticized you for playing. And if they did, shame on them. But you know what I mean, right? You could play all kinds of things. You could talk to your imaginary friend. It was accepted as you were young. Um... You could develop that. Oh, the magician, I love that, okay? So in the past, you invited the magic in. You were going, 
uh, the magic is here. I can use it. Nobody's going to judge me for it because I'm a kid, right? I'm a kid. I'm supposed to do these things. I'm supposed to have, you know, a stick and pretend it's a sword. And, um, you know, I'm supposed to put like a, a make a cone paper and, and a little poof at the end. And, and there you go. I'm a princess. You are okay to do these things. Okay, it was seen as, oh, you're so creative or imaginative or even tolerated by adults because they go, yes, they're like that. You know, she does that a lot or he does that a lot. That's, you know, they'll outgrow it at one point. First, the people who tolerated that, the adults who didn't understand. But this has shaped who you are. And right from the beginning, Pisces, when I start, started my journey this card always came out, the Six of Cups, the childlike joy, all the pages would come out telling me that I needed to get back in touch with my sense of play, of joy, of happiness, that that's where the magic lied. So please make sure to have a lot of fun this week and in the upcoming weeks. Take some time and play and then bring it back down and write down what you did. Even if it's it feels ridiculous to you, let it be that. Let it be not ridiculous. Stop telling yourself or hearing the voice of some adult in your past telling you that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a good idea or that you were, you know, stop escaping. Let yourself feel that energy. If you use escapism in a bad way, in other words, as in substance abuse, you're harming the self. But if you're using that energy to go beyond your best self, like in in um, imagination, I'm not saying like saying there and not, you know, there's escapism. Everything can be taken too far. And then you are not engaging in the world. As Pisces, we can just jump off that trampoline and not be of this world. So if you do that too much and never come here to make it a reality in your everyday, then that becomes, well, it can be hurtful to you because you'll never be part of this world. And you, you're meant to be part of this world. You're meant to be here. So, but you can utilize it. This is a great tool, the magician. It's a great tool for you to use. When people say can't be done as a Pisces, you can say, Oh, if it can be imagined, it can be done, okay? In some way, shape, or form, something can come of it. So, absolutely, use that tool. Okay, so your magic this week, which hmm, should be fun. This should be fun. Compassion for all. We did have the kindness card this morning. I feel there's more to that as well. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel that your magic this week is going to be to give to forgive the people who can't be in that mindset, okay? This is about trying to control a situation, but in this case because it's in reverse, I feel it's saying, just let go of trying to help people find that part of you that you're going to be in. So not everybody will understand, and they may never, they may never, they may always say to you, as I said this morning, they may always um, say to you, oh, you're not of this world, you're in la-la land. And you know, if you're a good person, if you walk every day in beauty, and in, in grace, in love. Don't let outside forces tell you. Instead, be compassionate to them. Okay, send them some love. You see all these lo the love things here? For all the different signs. You see, you have them all. You have the air sign here as well. You have the earth signs. <laughs> I love the fact that there's a raccoon and there's a skunk and a fox and a mule and a llama and an, an owl. There's everything here. So there's different people from different walks of life. I feel it's just be, don't exclude anybody from anything. Okay? Don't try to control the world. Just 
take care of yourself. I think that's the magic of you now. You understanding that it begins within you. Trying to hold on to things and control things constantly. It just, it muddles up the, um, the process of creation. It constantly stops you from doing what you truly, the most powerful you you can be. Yeah. So let's take the last card, the roundup for the week. I feel it's like a live and let live, you know? Even if somebody says to you, oh, well, you seem to be in the clouds this week. As I said this morning, tell them, I'm, I'm writing the next opus. I'm, I'm creating the next great thing. I'm... I'm planning something wonderful, okay? I'm in love. I'm in love with love. And you can even tell them, I'm in Pisces season. I'm allowed. That's the other one, okay? Just believe in yourself, Pisces. Adventure awaits. Gorgeous. Mm-hmm, look at that, that bag sitting there, oh yeah, oh, let me see here, what's this, <laughs> okay, ten of wands, not going to leave that there, and the elder of cups, okay, so, the ten of wands coming in, just, it's just telling me that you're going to find some resistance this week from... Um, it started out a while ago. What you guys didn't see is when I first started out, the Ten of Wands that had fallen out as I was shuffling the decks. And I knew that it was something, but I don't like starting any readings with the Ten of Wands. Because I feel that the Ten of Wands is saying, don't do this right now. And that's not what I feel for us this week. I feel that we're really tapping in and allowing ourselves to tap in without the outside influence of other people. It's not, though, that they're not going to try. It's not that somebody sometime this week is not going to try to derail you. But the adventure awaits is telling me that you need to be the Elder Cups. The Elder Cups is the King of Cups. The one who is stable in choppy waters. The one who um, can see things emotionally from a much more, um, I don't know, softer a softer touch, you know, somebody who's just kind of comfortable in their emotions and not taking anything too personal, okay? Because you're, you're going to be an observer of the darkness and the light this week, absolutely. If you see the four wands of light and the six wands of darkness, it may feel this week like there's some people who are trying to, mm, you know, crap on your parade. But it is up to you to just believe that the adventure of your life awaits you. This is a time for you to really concentrate on you. It says it right here. You're going to launch this week no matter what. You're going to balance yourself out no matter what. You've got the wheel of fortune coming in for you. This is your power week. And you need to remain in your power. Okay? In your power. In the King of Cups. That's her power. That's the highest card in our, in our deck of emotions of Cups. And that's where you need to live right now. In a very calm place in a turbulent sea. And, and embrace the adventure that awaits you. Okay? So very important, the big message that came in this week. When things, when you do go into your beautiful imaginary world and imagine the very best of everything. Right? And I don't suggest you do that all day. Unless you can. But I mean, you know. Um... Carve out moments where you can have beautiful flights in the most wonderful place that you've ever been. The, the places you know, okay? I don't have to tell you, Pisces. I have my own special places. So do you. Go there and then come back and write down the most wonderful, energetic feeling you felt. When did it happen? At what point? What were you thinking? Where were you in your beautiful flight of fantasy? What could you bring into reality right now in the present moment? And just do that all week. And it will pay off. That's, that's 
pulling the fantasy into the reality. And that's what we want to do this week with our energy. We want to pull it out of the fantasy and put it into our reality. And then we can live it. We don't have to just fantasize about it. We can actually bring it to the present moment with us. Isn't that wonderful? I think so. All right, my beautiful ones. So if you would love to watch any of these readings, I invite you to subscribe right now. And you can hit the notification bell to all, but I would rather that you go and subscribe um, on the website and and it is in the in the description box below. When you subscribe to it, I will notify you every time I put up a video by email. You'll be notified. So you will never ever miss another video again. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I love all of you. And um, we're going to have a fantastic week. Better, the best one yet. It has to be Pisces. We're going into our sign. We're going into our moon. We've got it all right here. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.